Ziggity Zig talking his way out of silver. Game number 40. Here is the game between myself and Amada Walrus. There goes Amada Walrus. Oh, it looks like Amada Walrus was also a little bit late to the party. Let's have a little peek there at that. How long did it take Walrus to get into the game? This is this one that took forever to load. So I believe my APM starts working at around 9 seconds in. Boom, there we go. 9 seconds, 8 seconds. I'm way off at... Boom, and there's 13 seconds. So, there it is. Apparently we're both suffering from the same bad computerness. Now, I had a look at the live game again, just to peek my way through, and of course, you know, in my memory I thought, oh, this was such an awesome epic game, but in reality, eh, it's kind of meh. But let's see if there's anything that I can improve upon. So let's find out what the story is in my play here. So as far as I can tell, I think I hit most of my timings towards the early game, and then it was just sort of later on that it got a little... Well, I don't want to say twitchy, or... It just... Uh, inconsistent? I don't know. Mm. So let's go and see what was happening down there. Drop, see, he probably meant I was talking about drop play or something like that. So there's this wall off. That's pretty standard fair. Uh, actually, I should probably be studying this for finding out what exactly to do. So you hit that approximately. Wow, that's awesome timing on that, and then you're ready for another one. So when did he put that down? Well, I'll study this later. Because I'm kind of getting a little bit better at a Terran, just if you watch Lime Not Lemon with me and Griff goofing around and being stupid. Uh, we should be almost at 13, so when I hit 13, I have 75 uh, minerals, and I can get my 14 gas. Ready, ready, ready! Here we go. Come on, come on. Oh, I get up to 15 before I notice. There I go. Over to get the assimilator. Okay. I'm going to stop saying the word okay quite so much. There's uh, Walrus's barracks going down. No gas. That's intriguing. The wall is already there, so I didn't worry too much about going in and checking out what the wall might have looked like. There's his scout. Oh, well done. Checking for pylons. And then... Lowers that. Excellent. Had I been paying attention, maybe I could have done a few things like that. But, as far as that goes, so Walrus didn't really have... He pretty much waited for the orbital. Speaking of... No, no orbital yet. Fair enough. Me, with my little scout, I then come in and I spot this interesting bunker. I think, mm, alright, does that mean expo? Um, probably a bit of a fast... F not not exactly a fast expo, but definitely a intention to expo. So here comes Walrus up the hill. And Walrus sees... Basic... Stuff. Nothing exciting. Pylons. Gateway. Kind of curious as to if Walrus oh, changed anything. There's this orbital happening, and here comes Upgrade complete. a zealot to chase him out. Good. Alright, that's cool. I'm going to that. So that is the scout right there. I'm curious to find out whether his scan caught me making Gateway. that. Coming. Ready. Robotics facility. So we'll see about that. Yep. Pretty much ready to throw down the... Yeah, there we go. And there's the expo. Cool. Well done. So, a small defensive bunker push out. That's pretty safe. That's pretty tasty. I like that. Uh, no good. other buildings or units or anything along those sides. He's holding this, which is very good. I like that. Meantime, there's me just kind of doing what I'm doing. It's my three gate. Just about ready to get a robo down. But in that case, now where were we here? I was just a little bit ahead in worker supply and army supply. I'm yeah, I know. I'm too curious about that scan. But I'm just watching all the things that are happening right here. He's getting another barracks. And another barracks. So definitely very barracks heavy. Now it's funny because the barracks hit and then all of a sudden there we go. There's the scan. So it's three gates. Warp gate just happens. Warp gate is just arriving at 6.02, so that's the scan. Oh, nope. Did not see that. Alright, so he does not see my robotics facility. 
Which doesn't really matter, because, I mean, I can't even see his expansion, so who cares? There's me down there. Let's see, so I get into the gases. That's good, that's cool. My worker supply is pretty high. My army supply is actually a little bit high as well. It's around this point that I start wondering what the army strength is at. I'm definitely ahead. I mean, I'm 41 food down to 30, and I just kind of feel like the income is, ooh, yes, favoring me. But then again, do we see any mules? Mules? What's the energy like? He did a lot of scanning. It's 46. What can we do with... Yeah, it's 50. Let's get to 50. Scanner sweeper mule. Anything? Is that a mule? Yeah, that was a mule. So, he was dropping down a couple of mules. And that's... The, oh, there we go. That's going to make the difference right there. And the difference even though I have more workers, but those mules... Oh, dear. Mules, mules, mules. So, at this point, am I seeing things with the observer just yet? No, I don't think I am. Is that my first one? Quick peek. No, I do have one. Where is it? Ah! So there it goes. So the army supply, I am still quite a bit ahead. So yeah, I think I did I think I did alright from the get-go here. I, I I like my my unit composition. That was well done. There goes my expansion. F finally, but yeah. Okay, so I have more harvesters, but I have not expanded, so I should have expanded a lot earlier than that. But here we go. Here's what I see. And as I come down here, I feel slightly worried about this, because I think at this point I actually do say the words, that's a lot of units, but even though, hmm, well, I maybe could have done something and put a dent in that, but I decided to see what I could do with mid-game expansion. So this was when I noticed barracks, 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 that's it. It's nothing other than barracks. So when I saw barracks only... I decided to go home, and there it is. There's a ro robotics bay that I decided to get. I thought that was a pretty sweet move. I was pretty happy with my ability to do that. Now, at the moment, there's actually nothing going on production-wise because I slacked off on my immortal production. I think I got... Mm, man, did I get one? Did I get two? I just basically continued working on some other things. Actually, what I did was I got some more production facilities. Hmm, so there we go. I knew what I was up against. I knew that it wasn't all that spiffy. Where's this guy going? And I knew that it was predominantly barracks and barracks and bio, so I wanted to get something a little a little higher up. Still nothing coming out of this. But then again, it is there. So here's the scan. Seize the army. Roughly. There's that. In fact, I actually moved slightly more into it. The army supply walrus is actually taken off and started in with the uh, the army supply. And all of a sudden, a much better job of moving ahead in this game, despite the fact that well, I'm still kind of keeping up. But I guess the issue there is that I fell behind in worker supply. Walrus suddenly went ahead. Let's have a look at the EPM. Whoa! Bamming that EPM. Wow, I was not expecting that. But then again, the Walrus has just taken me over. This is why I usually, most of my games I win at the 12 minute mark. But had I moved out right then and there, would not have been enough. And I probably would have lost out quite big. So I was right to worry at this point. And here's a couple of. So then, yeah, does the factory maneuver... Double engineering bay is interesting, because at this point I'm only at plus one... Plus one weapons has started. And there we go. Weapons and infantry at the same point. I have a second robotics facility coming down to start pumping out. Hopefully some Colossus. Why don't I have one just yet? I don't know. Oh, there's one. Okay, so I do have one Colossus. There's a second one starting. All right. Worker supply and army supply, pretty much exactly even. The only thing that is different is the EPM. So I am trying to get a few different things now. Plus one does finish, and then I'm not quite ready for plus two because I didn't build that Twilight Council. That is the bummer that I should have been paying attention to. Now let's have a look down here, and this one is not quite saturated. How is my top base? Probably not the same. Well, slightly oversaturated, but that's okay. I don't mind so much of that. 
So, Walrus is definitely scanning my army quite well and keeping a very good eye on that. I'm trying to keep an eye on this third expansion. Hopefully he's not doing any kind of ninja expansion anywhere. There's a second starboard coming down. One with a reactor already. So these units ready with the medevacs. I honestly, with this many gate units, would have been a pretty damaging drop had he decided to go ahead with that. I made the forge, but I didn't worry too much about drops because I didn't really see many coming, but I did have a pylon out, out uh, the back just in case. I need to warp in some units quickly. Let's see how that went. I am kind of just barely keeping up at this point. We're pretty much exactly even, which is impressive for the amount of EPM that he's throwing down there. And then I go and just have a quick peek at that. <laughs> Add insult to injury. I grab this probe over to kill this SCV <laughs> and just think, yeah, there you go, take that. Two more gateways, which I'm excited about. So I think I was up to around, ooh, I don't even know. Ooh, Twilight Council, I should definitely be working on plus two or anything or something, but no, 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 I just did not have it going. <laughs> so there the Vikings finally start to come out. Oh, and I could see it in everything. So there are... A marine marauder and a pretty decent army supply. The worker supply is still pretty similar. We're still both on two bases. This was a very, very even game. For no reason whatsoever, I decided to take out these blocks other than just the fact that I was stressed. I was killing anything that moved, and trust me, those rocks moved. They, they, they do things like that. They're shifty. Look at them. Look at them. You can wriggle them. You just kind of, you know, if I move, if I move the screen like that, the rocks move totally. So that's what happens there. I almost went down here, but then I think I thought better of it and went around the long way because I needed to continue making units and I was starting to get towards a bit of a supply block situation and it looks like Walrus is at the same spot. There comes an armory. I'm not sure what the armory is exactly for because I don't remember seeing any Thors in the field but I think he's just decided to start using uh, the factory to a bit better of an advantage. There's um, So yeah, plus one weapons did finish. Weapons and armor. My plus two is started, so I started working on a little bit of tech at the same time while I was waiting for my supply block to end off, and I really, yeah, this is when I should have definitely expanded when I moved down here. Expand as well as um, probably more production facilities and just a few different things at the same time. This, okay, I'm curious about this because right now the army supply is 115... The 94 units lost. This is when stuff starts to go bad. So I've, he's lost one unit, I've lost one. And that is basically how that's gone. Oh, loss of a Colossus. That's bad. I, that should have gone much better. Somehow managed to maintain my Colossus in behind my other units. No, oh, there's one that's getting picked up by that Viking, so that's bad. You losing a lot of resources just there by trying to get a few more. Oh, those are some bad force fields. Because the problem with the force fields is I wasn't splitting up the army well enough. I was just kind of walling it off so it couldn't continue attacking me. Now he's scanning me, so I know... So now you can see that he knows what he's up against, and he knows that he's got enough. Yeah, still over with that, so... Have a look. look at that, units lost. I'm really liking that one. Now there's combat shield and weapons 2. My weapons 2 are finishing at the exact same time. Actually, mine are finishing early, so this might be this the change in the tide. Thermal lands finally starting up. I was way behind on that. Here's the units lost. Walrus's marines heading out the middle. These, now I start hitting up with some diesel. Nope, not quite there. Those are bad. Meanwhile, I do see that the Vikings coming after me, and these Colossus just are not holding their own. So this was a kind of a bad engagement on his part there. That could have gone better for me and him. 33 units lost. Resources lost is definitely worse in my in my favor. However, it's probably about to catch up because I'm getting really lucky here because what has happened here is my plus two is finished and his plus two has not. And now we're at... No, he's still got a pretty superior army going on here. And now I think we're about to see when my force fields get slightly better. just seems to be Walrus's inability to commit to an attack, because I think he definitely could have polished me off right then and there. That was pretty bad. What was... 
What was going on there? Oh, that's right, because I didn't have the rest of my Colossus. Now now that I remember my, the rest of my Colossus up the top, I try to warp in a couple more of the sentries, and this is kind of interesting, because all of a sudden he thought he was up against two, now all of a sudden I've got six, so that's how bad that went. He's got a couple units, some SCVs up top there, which seems to be an odd place to put those. The construction is still going well. Armor two is coming down. Uh, units lost, so here's me with my extended thermal lance, and I managed to take out a few things up here at the top quite sure of what. And then, there. That should have been a bit better. But I hit up those little spots, and so he has to trickle through and get funneled, and that's when I make some serious damage right there. That's what I should have been doing the entire time. That would have gone much, 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 much better. But the issue here is that it's still pretty well tied, but I'm managing to make my way up here and take out quite a number of his buildings, so he can't actually produce all that much of the other than medivacs and the odd. Yeah, so all of a sudden there I am and I've and his army is kind of separated and all over the place. I'm not really sure where everybody is, but I mean he seems to still have oh, I see. Most of his army is either in these bunkers, it's a viking. I'm still rolling in. Uh didn't keep track of my robotics facility up here. This new base was still just on its way in. At 20 minutes, we were still on effectively two bases, which is pretty bad, because I think we both got mined out right up here at the top. Goodness, how long had these been idle? I wasn't paying attention. I was really focused on this army play down here, but just to make sure that my force fields were doing the proper thing. Anyway, leave me a comment down below. Send me an email, ziggityzig at gmail.com, or you can follow me on Twitter, at ZiggyStarCraft. That was a loud noise, and that was thwast number 40. That was the playback of the live game. Stay tuned.